Hi guys, welcome back to How To Kitchen. We're going to share with you a quick tip on the best roast potato. There's a lot of argument on the best roast potato, what to do and how to do them, but we think we found the perfect roasty. So come closer and I'll show you. First tip we're going to give you is when you're making the perfect roast potato, is the cutting. I've peeled some potatoes up here. and We're not just going to cut them in four, we're going to cut them in diamonds. See, we're going to cut this so we've got a really big face. It's really important to have a big face on your potato. The bigger face, the more crunchiness. So cut them in diamonds like this. We're going to go ahead, we're going to finish cutting our potatoes up in diamonds. And we're going to put them into a pan. When we've got them into the pan, we're going to put them on the boil for around about 10 minutes. This will make the roasties really fluffy. So more fluffiness, more crispiness. So there's all the roasties done. We're going to pop these on the, uh, the hob now, around 10 minutes. Let's get them on. Right, while we're waiting for them to boil, I'm going to uh, crush some salt and pepper in my pestle and mortar. I love just using fresh peppercorns. In all my videos, I always use fresh peppercorns. So much nicer. A little bit of sea salt, crush it up. What we're going to do with this, we're going to put this all over the top of the roast potatoes, along with some flour and some mixed herbs. Bang, that's done. Put some mixed herbs into this. Go, go, you know, quite a bit. More fragrant. Fragrant. Okay. And say so we've got some uh, plain flour as well. Any plain flour will do. We'll come back in a minute when the roasters have been on for 10 minutes. We'll drain them off and I'll show you the next step. Welcome back. Well, so it's been about 15 minutes now and the potatoes are just ready to come off the uh, cooker now. Um, you don't want them too soft, so they're going to fall apart, you don't want them too hard. You just want to say just a little bit fluffy, which these are. And I'll show you that in a second. Right, so off with the, the gas. In the colander. There we go. The potatoes air dry. You just want to have a look at these potatoes here. Um, you'll see how fluffy they are. So just a little bit fluffy, fluffy but they're still hard enough. They're not going to fall apart. Now what you want to do now, put them back into your pan, like so. I'm going to go hit it with your, your rub we made. Hit it with some flour. Plain flour. Toss them. Not that word. <laughs> Toss your potatoes in your pan. Make sure they're all coated in the seasoning and the flour. Now you might be thinking, oh, so what's the secret? We do that already. The secret will come later on, so keep watching the video, because we're gonna show you the secret to the best roaster. A little bit more, not too much. Bang, bang, bang. Right, hot pan, oven gloves on, safety first. Safety first. Oven gloves. I put some oil in this pan on 200 in the oven. This is hot. In with potatoes. With a spoon, get all that fat all over the potatoes really quickly. By putting it in the pan with really hot fat, you're sealing the potatoes straight away. Now, Get them back in the oven as quick as you can. 200, 200 degrees, about half an hour to 40 minutes. Now when they're just about done, when they're just on the peak of being done, we're gonna pull them out, we're gonna let them cool down for about an hour. And then we're gonna shove them back in for 25 minutes. And you're gonna get the best roasty. Join me in a bit for that. Right then, it's been 40 minutes, our potatoes have been in the oven. 
Let's get them out and let's see what they're like. Forty minutes. Let's have a close up of these. This is after forty minutes. Now, maybe a little bit longer. But what we're going to do now is this is the trick. You let them cool down. Leave them on the side. Just leave them there. to cool down. Let them feel what they're doing. All right. And then. 25 minutes before you're ready to dish up, stick them back in the oven on 200, and I promise you, they will be the best roast potato you've had this year anyway. So, we'll, show, we'll put a picture on later of the finished result. I'm not gonna film that, but trust me, double, triple cooking these potatoes just like triple cooking chips. They'll get crispier and crispier. Thanks for watching our how-to video on the best roast potato. Stay tuned for more videos and please subscribe.